If you treat your cast iron right, you can end up with a really good pan that is non-toxic, non-stick, and just gets better year after year for the rest of your life. But first, you've got to start out by seasoning it. So what is seasoning? What does that even mean? Let me tell you. Seasoning simply refers to the process of oil baking onto the surface of your cast iron. It's what protects the pans from rust, makes them more non-stick, and is really just the basic care that it needs to equip them to last for years to come. It can be done a few times a year for pan maintenance, with a brand new cast iron to help it along with its cooking performance, or to a cast iron that has started to rust. And lucky for us, the process is pretty straightforward. Today I will be showing you the process on my two-year-old Lodge cast iron pan. She's beautiful as she is, but a little extra seasoning never hurt. If your cast iron happens to have rust on it, you're gonna start by scraping that out with some steel wool or even a pan scraper to remove as much as you can and then washing it with soap and water. If there's no rust, just go ahead and wash it as normal with a small amount of soap. Dry the pan with a dishcloth or a paper towel and don't worry if a little bit of black residue comes off. That's just part of the seasoning and it's nothing to worry about. Next, you need to choose your oil. The manufacturer of my cast iron recommends using one of the oils listed on the screen for seasoning. For me personally, I will be using extra virgin olive oil. Now you don't want to use too much oil because if you do, then it will leave the pan sticky after the seasoning process. So what I like to do is just take the paper towel, put it on top of the oil and kind of flip the bottle so that just a little bit is left on the paper towel and I'll do that in several spots until I have multiple spots of oil because it is a big pan. And then I just rub the pan down and that should be a perfect amount of oil. For this, you're gonna get the inside, the walls, the outside, the handle, the bottom, all of it. You want it to be completely covered. Then preheat your oven to 450 to 500 degrees. I did 500 because more just seems better in this case scenario. Place a baking sheet on the bottom rack of your oven to catch any excess oil. There shouldn't be any excess oil because of how well we wiped it down, but just in case, we'll put it there. Then place your cast iron in the oven upside down, a rack above that baking sheet, and bake for one hour. I did this on the hottest day of summer. It was a mistake. Once your hour is up, allow it to cool, and voila, you have a perfectly seasoned cast iron pan. Congratulations, you're a star. Now at this point, you can choose to repeat this process or not, but no matter what you do, always make sure to follow these steps every time that you clean out your cast iron. After washing it, always dry it out completely with a paper towel or dishcloth. Personally, I like to put mine on an open flame to help this process along and kill any bacteria that might have been missed in the washing process. And then just like with the seasoning, rub down the entire pan with a thin layer of oil. This will help prevent rust from ever forming and continue to keep your pan in the best possible condition. And it really only takes a minute. I grew up in a house that only cooked with cast iron. And at the time I found it so annoying because all of my friend's parents bought non-stick Teflon pans and I wanted that. I didn't care about the plethora of toxic chemicals that made up the non-stick coating. Heck, I don't even know if I believe that they were real. No, no, no. I just wanted eggs that were easier to flip without breaking, regardless of the consequences. Since then, I have matured. And looking back, my parents had some really well-seasoned pans. One of them was so well-seasoned and so well-used that it had lost all of its abrasiveness on the bottom of the pan and was just a smooth, glossy surface. It was everyone's favorite pan to cook with and it was deemed the egg pan because it was the only one anyone would ever attempt to cook eggs in because it worked so well. At this point, my goal in life is to one day have my own egg pan or to somehow convince my mother to pass it down to me as a gift for my 26th birthday. She needs it more than I do. But the point is that cast iron really does just get better with time. And all you need to do is make sure you're drying it and oiling it after washing. Don't let water sit in it, season it now and again, and you will end up with a pan that lasts a lifetime. 
a pan that you could literally one day pass down to your children maybe even your grandchildren i don't know i'm not that old yet i don't know about you guys but i think that's pretty cool considering that most of the things that we buy in this world are expected to last a few years to a decade at most most things we buy slowly deteriorate and get worse over time not this pan not fine wine and not my husband they just get better with age well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like more content centered around simpler living, biblical femininity, and the art of homemaking. Leave a comment about your cast iron experiences. And if you are interested in learning more about non-toxic, non-stick cookware options, make sure to check out my black carbon steel video after this. Another amazing pan, very similar to cast iron, but I would argue that it becomes non-stick faster. Alright, well thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next one. Happy seasoning!